YouTube back with another video. So check it out, right? So you know um, this UCLA player who got caught stealing shoplifting from the Gucci store in China is the son of this loudmouth LeVar Ball. He's the um, proprietor of the Big Ball brand or whatever. So Donald Trump was in China when Jit got arrested. And as you know, a gesture of goodwill, he got the kid out of a possible 10 year sentence. LeVar Ball, the kid's dad, responds by getting a lot of airtime, 23 minutes out of CNN on they stupid ass, thinking that I guess because he's black, he was gonna have some uh, jabs coming at President Trump. But it kind of backfired on Chris Cuomo, who was the host at the time, because he ended up making Chris Cuomo not only look like a fool, he made him look timid. He looked like a weak-minded person up there on, on the show. And I go as far as saying he was getting bullied by LeVar Ball. So the good thing about this is CNN, uh, CNN's anti-Trump bashing backfired again. But the best thing about this is that the president didn't need a wussy like Chris Cuomo to stand up for him because he sent out a tweet this morning uh, on November 2nd, 2017, stating that it wasn't the White House, it wasn't the State Department, it wasn't Father Lavar's, Lavar's so-called people on the ground in China that got his son out of a long-term prison sentence, which it was because the, uh, the max time... And you know, China is very strict. The max time for that crime in China is 10 years. You feel me? <laughs> um, but anyway, it wasn't none of that that got his son out. It was me. I, and I quote, that's what in all caps he put it. It was me. But then, and I respect that so much. That's why we like President Trump so much. That's why we love President Trump so much because he's a, an alpha male. You know what I'm saying? And he's on our side. But the next two lines kind of um, confuse me, though, because he says, too bad LeVar is just a poor man's version of Don King. I thought he was down with Don King. You know, I thought they were cool. So I guess he threw Don King under the bus or made Don King uh, the butt of this joke as well. Um, and the next one is he also threw poor people under the bus. I guess he's showing contempt or indifference to poor people. But maybe I'm being liberal and reading too far into it. The point is that the the president demonstrated that he has a better brand and more wit than LeVar Ball. And when LeVar Ball thought he got the last laugh, he you should hear the people in the black community like, or the black sector of YouTube at least, like the advice show, he's up there talking about, yo, this is how you should talk to white people. And I'm not no white person sympathizing, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be like, I'm not trying to throw my people under the bus, but I think that there is a bet. It's like when, with guys like the advice show, I'm like, yeah, let's do it the most complicated way possible. You know what I'm saying? I think, let me not get sidetracked with that. But anyway, he threw... He threw Don King under the bus, poor people under the bus. LeVar Ball, however, felt like he got the last laugh because he made Chris Cuomo look like a fool. But the thing I'm most happy about um, in this episode is that the president was the one that got the last laugh. He did a good deed. He will be remembered for it forever. Where, however, like LeVar Ball, he will be remembered forever for being ungrateful. And if he ever aspires to run for president of the United States in the future, this will come back and haunt him. So the president has done something, again, that he will never do. You know what I'm saying? So the president rightfully got the last laugh in the end with that tweet. And I'm sure it didn't take much of his time or much of his day, much of his attention either. Um, and he also got the last laugh over CNN trying to put, you know, uh, some spin on it, put some fake news on it and make him look bad. You know what I'm saying? So he got a two for one. He got the last laugh on CNN again and the last laugh on LeVar Ball. And even though this may not seem like much, it's the ripple effect, man. This is the beginning of the end for LeVar Ball for doing that dumb shit. That shit was unnecessary and you know what I'm saying? It didn't hurt the president. What it did was hurt you, to be honest with you. Um, and <laughs> there it is, man. Threw a couple of guys under the bus, but he got the last laugh in the end.
Thanks for watching.